In this video, I want to explain why I currently choose to use the Godot game engine over other game engines out there such as Unity and Game Maker Studio 2. But don't get me wrong, I'm not making some sort of oath that I will use Godot and only Godot. I may have plans of using other engines for some projects that I have planned in the future. And if you're wondering why, stay tuned until the end of the video. But first, you see that red button below the video that says subscribe? Yeah, I wonder what happens when you click it. Why don't you test it out for me? Seriously though, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. On to the video. So the first point that I want to make, which I want to be your main takeaway from this video, is that a game engine is just a tool. Certain tools are better for certain problems. It is your job to figure out which problem you want to solve, and which tool is the best to solve it. And the best tool to solve a problem could be incredibly subjective. What one might find easy, others might find hard. With that being said, I want to explain why, for the problems that I want to solve, aka the games that I want to make at the current moment, Godot is the best tool for that. So before using Godot, I have tried Game Maker and Unity, but the last time I've used these two game engines were a few years ago, and I've only started using Godot a few weeks ago. So Unity and Game Maker might have changed a lot since I've last used it. Also keep in mind, I'll be sharing my opinion from the perspective of someone who is a beginner, which is great since it can help out those among you who are beginners as well, but it does mean that I may get some things wrong. So yeah, take what I say with a grain of salt. Now about Game Maker. Game Maker is probably the easiest game engine to learn. It is very intuitive and I managed to make some cool prototypes with it. But there are some questionable things about Game Maker. For example, it is really expensive, especially for a hobbyist or a student whose only source of income is his mom. I bought the desktop version but it only allows me to export to Mac or PC. If I want to export to HTML5, I'll have to pay more. Yeah, no thanks. Godot is completely free and open source for the platforms that I want to export to, aka PC, Mac, HTML5, and mobile. And there's no smash marks as well, so take that unity. Gaming also has a built-in language, which is GML. GML is simple, but it doesn't really resemble any other languages. Whereas the language that Godot uses, GDScript, strongly resembles the syntax of Python. This is great for me since I already have some experience using Python, so learning GDScript was pretty intuitive for me, whereas GML, while simple, has quite a learning curve, since you have to get used to the syntax and all that. Secondly, since Secondly, since GDScript is similar to Python, I get to hone my Python coding skills, which is great since Python is an incredibly useful language to learn and master. Unity is also great in this aspect since it uses c -sharp, but to me at least, c -sharp is way harder than Python to learn. There's a lot of syntax to remember, which could be overwhelming for a beginner. It's not just the language that is intuitive, however. The whole workflow with Godot is really intuitive and easy, and also very fast. I really like Godot's notes and scene system. First of all, Godot has a note setup for every little thing you could ever need. For example, I recently learned about the graph edit note, which literally lets you add flowcharts to your game or app with barely a few lines of code. I mean, I couldn't figure out how to make this note work for my GMTK project, but that's more my fault and that's a story for another time. Anyways, each node in Godot is pretty intuitively named and quickly reading the properties in the inspector can easily tell you what the node is about and if you can't figure it out, there's always documentation. Once you already know the basics of Godot, which you can probably learn with a few tutorials, I do truly believe that you can make or figure out how to make any game that you want. In Game Maker, it's hard to stay organized since everything is made out of objects. Objects are kind of like scenes in Godot since you can make instances of it. You have to make objects out of every little thing, and once your game gets bigger, there could be hundreds and even thousands of objects. So the only way to stay organized is by putting stuff into folders, whereas with Godot, your nodes are automatically organized since all nodes are directly attached or next to nodes related to it. Also, not all nodes have to be scenes, i.e. objects as well. Also, let's talk about Unity for a second. My main problem with Unity is that it is pretty clunky and heavy. As someone who owns a potato as a computer, in fact, up until recently, my PC only had 8 gigs of RAM, performance is really important. If Godot is a cheetah, then Unity is like a turtle. Unity usually takes over 5 painful minutes to load up, and when it does load up, it's very laggy and more often than not, will crash in the middle of making a project. It's also easy to get overwhelmed in the UI of Unity. There's just too much information all at one time. Godot currently has a pretty active community. The Godot community Discord is really helpful. Big shout out to Kids Can Code by the way, he is always there whenever I ask a question. The Godot Reddit and forums are also pretty active. There is literally an abundance of tutorial channels as well for Godot. My favorites are GDQuest and Heartbeast, but there are a lot of underrated people making brilliant tutorials. I find that Game Maker's community currently isn't that active and compared to Godot and Unity, since I feel that a lot of people who use Game Maker might have migrated to either Godot or Unity. Unity obviously has a much bigger community now, but I feel like the majority of that community is in the 3D world, and for right now at least, I'm mostly interested in 2D. 
And this brings me to my last point. I do plan on using Unity more. Making 3D games is something that does interest me, but not right now, maybe in the future. I do think that if you are a beginner and you want to make 3D games, then Unity is probably the way to go because there's not that much learning resources for making 3D games in Godot as there are in Unity. Also, the games that I'm currently making are kind of rudimentary. They are just basic 2D game jam games. I'm still learning Godot, I'm still learning how to use it, and there are still a lot of obstacles in my future in game development. And when I do encounter those obstacles, who knows how I will react. Maybe I might decide that Unity is the best tool to solve that particular problem. In the end, the game engine that you choose is the tool that best fits your need right now. For my current situation, Godot fits that need perfectly, but it might change in the future. And that is why I choose to use Godot over GameMaker and Unity. If you want a quick summary, GameMaker expensive, GameMaker not organized, Unity laggy, Unity hard, Godot free, Godot fast. Again, if you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you click subscribe. I'm aiming for 100 subscribers by the end of this month.